All right, moving on. So today's agenda, we will be covering three parts. First is neighborhood data. So how you can understand local market trends around your property using neighborhood data. And then the AI enhancements that we have done in neighborhood data. We did these quite a few months back, but a recap. Second is how you can use Revenue Estimator Pro to get revenue estimates. Right? So whenever you're making new investment, how you can get a report of what potential revenue you can make. Then the smart filtering or the again AI that we have added in Revenue Estimator Pro. Third, we'll jump on to market dashboard. I don't know if you have tried market dashboard, but again, it's a tool which gives you broader market overview. And then again, looking into what we have done with AI insights and smart filters in market dashboard. Let's move on, move to neighborhood data first. So neighborhood data essentially tells you what's happening around your property, right? So neighborhood data is a tab in Price Labs that gives you this granular information for your property for each of your properties right so every property basis its market can have different conditions different trends neighborhood data tells you what's the future price or an occupancy of that market what has been the history of that local market how are other competitors in that market doing right let me jump on to price labs now so this is the neighborhood data uh the view might be a little different for you than it is for me. Uh, we have just been working on making price labs simpler, more intuitive for you. So we are uh, testing out with some different views and UI changes. You may see it different, a little bit different, but mostly the functionalities remain the same. So for your property, uh, if you open any property, you will see a pricing calendar. Uh, just right on the pricing calendar, you will see the neighborhood data tab. When you click on this neighborhood data, this is where you will see the information about that property at a glance. Okay. So for example, here you can see the future prices. Now, again, this is very local market. This is only the market where my listing is present, right? So for example, I have this listing, this property in Porto. So here I'm only seeing the information, which is in Porto, Diga, near to my property. Okay. So here you can see the future prices. You can see the black line indicates how your property's prices are changing in the future. And then you see gray, red, and pink, which is the different sections of the market. Okay. So if you, when you look at the gray area here, the gray bar, if I may, in the graph, this is the bottom 25 to 50th percentile of the market. Okay. I'll explain it again. So, if there's a market median here, the gray line is properties which are priced below the average market price or the median price of the market. Then you see the red, the dark red part, which is the 50th to 75th percentile, which is the average price of properties in your market. Then you see the light gray part, which is 75th to 90th percentile, which is properties at the higher end of the market. Right? Now these prices may vary depending on what amenities they have, the kind of luxury they have, or you know simply how they want to charge their properties. And you can see how you are comparing in this market, right? So this is for future prices. So for example, let's take an example of this date. On 30th Jan 2025, I am priced at 80 euros. Uh, the market 90th percentile is 159 euros. Then 75th is 122 and 50th is 89. So you can see how different verticals of market for around your property are priced. Similarly, you can see the same thing for occupancy. You can see how the market's occupancy is changing. So for example, as of December 2nd, the market occupancy is 12%, which is 3.2% less than last year. Okay, so you can see how the market occupancy is performing. This is very important because many a times we don't know if we are doing good or not, right? So, uh, and knowing how your property is performing, there are two ways, right? One is to compare it with your past performance, how you usually do. But then another factor is to compare with the market, right? So for example, if you have an occupancy of 40%, but the market has an occupancy of 20%, right? Which essentially means that you are doing pretty good, right? So you have an occupancy of 40%, the market average occupancy is 20%. So even if you are at 40% occupancy, you're better than the market. 
But at the same time, if you're at 40%, the market is at 60%, then probably there's something that you want to check, right? So it's it's all comparative. It depends on how the market is doing there, right? So again, you can similarly uh, check the occupancy. Then there's market history, which gives you a snapshot of last one year. So how the wind, how the different metrics or KPIs have changed. So for example, for the last one year, the average occupancy of my market is 76%. Okay, I can see the same for ADR, for length of stays. And I can also see how that is changing every month. Right. So for example, January 2024 had the lowest occupancy, then it started picking up, then May had the highest so far, and then September was just on top of that. So you can see in the last one year, how your market has performed. Then you can also look at multiple competitors here, right? So you can choose any competitor you want. You can look at their rates, right? So maybe you know some competitors by yourself. You can just add their name here and you can see their rate in the future. You can see the cleaning fee that they are charging. And you can also see the service fee model of Airbnb they are on. Okay. So that's on the neighborhood data. But all of this is, we've been doing this many times, or most of you I'm sure have tried this as well. What is new is AI Insights. Again, we launched this somewhere in April to May, and this is amazing. In just one click, you don't actually have to read all of these charts that I just showed. You just click on this and within click, it will give you the entire summary of the market with key insights. Okay. So for example, here you can see that there's a low, slow, low season in December and January. Your prices are towards the higher end of the market. Then you can see there's a surge in price bit from 27 December to 1st January. Market prices increased by 51.8% compared to surrounding dates. Then you can see from 5th to 7th December, market price increased by 11%. So again, all of this will give you a lot of information on what's happening. And you don't really have to spend time because, again, you don't have to learn all of this. You don't have to be a math wizard. You don't have to spend hours understanding these charts. Just AI Insights will just give you all of this summary. You can do that for future prices and you can also do that for occupancy. Similarly, occupancy, you give a one click and let's say it, the neighborhood is a weekend travel market. So this is a weekend market because on every weekend the occupancy is higher. The market is performing at par for the next five months compared to last year. The seasonality is many, medium. So again, you get so much information about the market. That's neighborhood data, uh, folks. Uh, I'll just quickly move to a deck. And as I said, AI insights turns these charts into simple sentences. You get this summary, you get inf insights about future trends. You can share it with um, sum uh, this summary, maybe with your colleagues, maybe a partner that you're co-hosting with, or if you're managing anyone else's property by chance, you can maybe share the summary with them just to let everyone know how the market around the property is performing. Okay. All right, so just gonna pause here and see if there's anything that you want me to look into. Uh, again, please, if you have any questions on this, please put them in the Q&A and our team will keep on answering those. Moving on, Revenue Estimator Pro. So Revenue Estimator Pro is again a market research tool by Price Labs. Uh, it helps you, it gives you instant estimates for any address in the world. Okay, so now we've looked at your property. We've understood, okay, these are the market trends. Okay, this is how your property is performing. This is how the competitors are doing. These are the market trend shifts. Uh, so accordingly, you know how your property is performing. Now, when you're looking for new investments, right? Uh, some of you may uh, look for new investment uh, and you don't really know what the estimate or revenue is, right? So revenue estimator helps you providing this estimate for any address in the world, okay? So let me take you to that. Uh, in your price apps account, you can just click on market research. When you do that, you will see two options, market dashboards and revenue estimator pro. We'll come to market dashboards. First talking about revenue estimator pro. Uh, when you click on this, it will take you to a screen, something like this. Uh, if you don't have any revenue estimator pro, any estimated created, you can just click on create new estimate. Here it will ask you for the address. That's pretty much the most important thing that it asks for. Uh, again, as I said, any address in the world where you are planning to have a property uh, or uh, purchase a property, you can use this to create that, right? You add all of this information, you click on continue, 
and then it will take you to an estimate of something like this. Okay, so here you can see that I have this estimate for Savannah in the USA, and you can see the multiple matrix that are present here. Right. So you can see what's the estimated annual revenue that I can make on the on, for a property on this address. You can see what's the uh, monthly revenue I can make here. What's the annual revenue I can make here. You can see the average daily rate that uh, I can charge here, uh, the occupancy of the market. And again, you can if you want, you can see all of this information as a trend in multiple graphs also. But this is fairly straightforward, right? Um, the problem with getting this estimate right away is that this is not personalized yet, right? Uh, okay, I can make this revenue, I can make $50, $200 a month, but what if my property has a hot tub? Shouldn't I be charging a little bit more than that? Or does it show for properties who already have a hot tub, right? So the real value of creating estimates like these, right? Even if you're doing it in price labs or you're doing it somewhere else, you are creating it manually. It's that it has to be precise and it has to be relevant for your property, right? So the competing properties that are selected here, right? So the properties that are used in this analysis have to match the property that you are aiming for. That's why we provide a lot of filtering options when you are creating this estimate. So you can choose multiple amenities. You Here you can see that you have options for uh, uh, with or without, say, kitchen, hot uh, pool, EV, smoking, so on and so forth. This is just for amenities. Then you have a uh, type of listing. So you, uh, if you want to have, if you want to filter property with, let's say, cancellation policy, if you want to filter for the booking window, for the average length of stay, you can add all of these filters to make this estimate as precise and as personalized for your needs as possible. Okay. But now to make it more easy, we've introduced AI to do that. Okay. So here, uh, as you can see, we have the smart filters option. What smart filters does is rather than going on these different drop downs, these different verticals that I just showed you for amenities, for the type of listings and multiple other things, you just type what you want the tool to work on. Okay, so let's say I just write listings with a pool and I pressed enter. Now, again, it is as simple as just giving a command to an AI tool, right? So you just write the command, you write the things that you want the prop tool to work on. And this way you can just keep on refining the estimate to your needs, right? So now you see that the annual revenue changed. You see that the monthly revenue changed, right? So if I have a pool, as I just said, if I didn't have a pool, I was making $5,200 a month. If I have a pool, I'm making $7,200 a month, right? It is also showing that it is 37% increase versus the original comp set. Comp set meaning the kind of properties that were competitive set, as you may call it. So the kind of properties that were used in this analysis. So you can see if you want to have a pool, you just type listings with a pool and you get a more precise report. Okay. Again, in the same in ADR, uh, you see 5% high ADR. In occupancy, you see 22% rise. Right. So interestingly, if we just look at this report in front of us, Having a pool doesn't change my ADR much. It is only changed by 5%, but it actually changes the occupancy by a lot, right? So if I have an ADR, I'm likely to get booked for more nights and eventually leading to more revenue, right? So this is what revenue estimator uh, helps you with. Uh, you can, again, keep filtering, keep precising, and you know create these estimates very instantly with the AI base, completely easy. You can also download it from here. You can download in a very easy readable PDF format, share it with, if you're doing it for some other client, maybe share it with them, for with your partner, with your co-host, or maybe just use it, download and use it later on for your analysis. So this is Revenue Estimator Pro. Going back quickly to the deck, here you see that, again, just to repeat myself, now you can define this comp set for more precision. So just type the metric value, whatever you want the tool to work on, and like use the unlock the uniqueness that your property has. For example, here just how we tried with the pool. 
Moving on to market dashboards. And again, if you have any questions, please feel free to keep dropping them in the Q&A. Uh, we've already covered neighborhood data. We have covered Revenue Estimator Pro, and now we are going to for market dashboards. So now market dashboards is again another market research product from Price Labs. Uh, market dashboards help you get broader market insights. So, okay, you'll be like, okay, well, we got market insights in neighborhood data, right? And then we have for estimates, we have revenue estimator. So what, what is this market dashboard really about? Market dashboard tells you a lot more about any market in the world than the neighborhood data and the revenue estimator pro. It's an everyday estimator pro price primarily for investments estimation. Neighborhood data primarily just for your own or individual one property. Market dashboard will give you an, a, a complete comprehensive data of any market in the world. Right? So let's say I just want to do how Chicago is doing. So I'll create a dashboard for Chicago and then I just look at all the graphs. Here you can let's say see the supply and demand of the market. You can see the booking patterns, booking windows. You can see the popular amenities of that market. So this is helpful when you want to uh, a gauge a market, like see how they are doing. Maybe make some correction to your property or pro number of properties that you are managing, right? So let me take you to market dashboard here. We'll give it a second to load. Again, uh, here we went to Revenue Estimator Pro earlier. Now, again, you can click on market dashboard and it will take you to a screen which is something like this. Uh, just give it a second for to load. So it's usually since I'm screen sharing and then I have multiple tabs of price labs open here and it takes some time. Hopefully it should be faster for you. So uh, when you click on market dashboard, you will land on a screen, something like this. Uh, you can click on create dashboard. And again, similar to revenue estimator, you can add an address. You can maybe give the market dashboard a name. It asks for a couple of other things like how many number of listings do you want the report or the dashboard to look into before creating this. Uh, a little bit more information here and then like that. And then, then in just a click, your dashboard is created. Once you create a dashboard, it will look something like this. Again, we'll just give it 30 seconds for it to load. Okay, it's here. And while that's happening, I'll just quickly see if there's any Q&A or chat that you want me to look into. All right, all good. Again, please keep asking questions in the Q&A regarding Revenue Estimator Pro or Market Dashboard or Neighborhood Data. And um, uh, Aditya and Rafael will keep on answering them. Okay. Okay, we'll just give it 30 more seconds for it to load. Uh, so market dashboard essentially gives you a very comprehensive guide. I love it when, you know, whenever I'm looking to understand a market, uh, you know, if it, even it is worth understand, uh, you know, maybe making a new investment or even it is worth entering for that matter. And now AI insights. Now in market dashboard, we have both AI insights that we saw in, Reven uh, in neighborhood data and smart filters, the easy typing of filtering that we saw in revenue estimator. So in market dashboard, we have added both of these things to again, make the revenue, uh, the market data understanding very easy for you. All right. We'll just give it 30 more seconds. I think I should not have opened so many. Tabs. Okay, it's coming. Uh, and while it is coming, I think you can already see the AI insights uh, tab here. So again, this is a market that a market dashboard that I have created. Uh, you can add any address, um, the type of properties that you wanted to consider, the number of properties that you wanted to consider. And it depends on you know how in depth you want to go with this data. Okay, still coming, but you can see it uh, popping up. So here you can see uh, the estimated re revenue that I can make in this Viking load LV that I have created is 36.9K. Uh, this is in USD. You can see the currency here I have selected as USD. Uh, so I can make 36.9K uh, as the estimated revenue. The number of active listings in the market are around 7K. Uh, the bookings are 223K. Booking window is usually 22 days. So you can find all of this, right? And then you can also uh, see more in detail. So for example, you can see the 
how estimated average revenue is changing every month. So for example, uh, as per 1st of June, the average estimated revenue was $2,800. Uh, then you can also see the booking window. You can see how that is changing over time. You can also see supply and demand, right? So for any individual market, you can see what are the total number of book nights, okay, in, for any month, for example, or let's, let's say if we take example of June 2024, the book nights were 59,000 roughly. And then you can also see what is the average number, what, what are the active listings in that market for that month. So for here, active, active listings are 4,700 and the bookings were around 56,000, 52,000. So this also gives you an idea of what the supply and demand of the market look like, just what we were talking about on the presentation earlier. And then again, similar booking, uh, future occupancy, future prices that we saw on neighborhood data. Uh, then you can also see length of stays, how length of stays are changing, right? So for example, uh, if you look at uh, perhaps December 7, uh, and you can see the number of nights, right? So stay nights are 96 and then 73 more. So for one day booking, uh, we there are total 96 stay nights or for 29 plus days booking there are 73 stay nights so here you can also see that is how that is changing you can see popular amenities so you can see here in this market wi-fi is the most popular duh so you can see that what number of here this gets interesting what number percentage of listings have wi-fi and what percentage of bookings that were made had the had Wi-Fi on the listing, right? So for example, here, 95% of the listings have Wi-Fi. 95% of the bookings made uh, in the last 30 days have Wi-Fi, okay? Now, quickly uh, coming back to AI Insights. So here, uh, you can click on AI Insights. Here, it is not just for any particular chart, but it gives you the entire summary of the market, right? So you just click on this, again, rather than going scrolling to at the bottom, finding and making sense of all of these charts, just click on AI Insights and get information, right? So for example, you can see the current ADR is 219, an increase of 12%. You can see the number of active listing is 6,500 up from this, uh, up from 5,200. You can see the number of bookings uh, show an increase of 47%. You can see both occupancy and ADR have increased, leading to a rise in revenue. So all in all, looks like the market is doing better. Right. Uh, the low season for this market typically is between August, January is uh, August, January, June and July. So about this market, now you see without understanding all of this, all of these charts, I have all the information that I need just on my fingertips. Now, this is again showing for generic properties or showing generic report, right? Or based on some of the filters that you selected while you were creating the um, uh, dashboard. Again, here you can filter it out by just typing what you want, right? So for example, let's say listings, same, let's do the same listings with pool. And again, it will work on this. It will change the entire comp set and then give me information about just these properties. So now here you can see, I have list filter, filter listing that I have pulled up. Uh, available as an amenity, right? So you just have to write filter listings with the pool and rest will be taken care of it. Now, just one last thing here, you can create this comp set. You can create this, like whatever you have written here, like multiple filters. So let's say you write listings with the pool with maybe 40% occupancy and you keep that as a comp set and save it with you, right? So you just click on generate and it will get saved here. And then you can see all of your custom comp sets here. Now, and then when you're going to neighborhood data, you can actually use this directly there, right? So instead of filtering it again, you can use the same filter, as you may call it, same filter that you saved here, you can go back and use on neighborhood data as well. This is just one add on feature, you don't really have to use it unless it's necessary. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, again, uh, here you can see a quick summary in sentences, uh, you can uh, define comp set to match your exact needs. Uh, we've also, uh, talking about updates, we've also launched three new integrations. So as you may know, Price Labs connects with more than, I think 120 now, property management system and channel managers. Now we've added three more, uh, you do booking launch and preview. So if you use any of these, you can, uh, now connect it more seamlessly with Price Labs. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today, folks. Uh, I'll just, uh, hang on here for a second and see if you have any other questions. If you do, please do share them in the Q and A. Uh,
uh thanks again for joining me and we really appreciate you taking out the time to learn more about price less and more about how you can use this and uh yeah we'll just wait for two more minutes for if there are any other questions uh, if you want to drop out please feel free uh thanks again for your time today uh we will be emailing you the recording of this session and uh yeah, that's all from us. We'll see you uh, in the next session quite soon. If you ever need anything, please feel free to uh, reach out to our support team. In your Price Labs account, you will see a, ha a question mark icon at the bottom right. Just use that uh, to maybe initiate a chat with us, send us an email, or maybe look for resources like our help articles and videos. Usually they help uh, to get your queries better. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me just see if there's anything question before we close off all right uh cool that's it for today uh folks thanks again for joining in we'll see you in the next one thank you